and it is time for a very special live edition of my show, The Lowdown, presented by Lexus. And we've got three lovely fans joining me here on stage. You've all, all got questions. And first of all, we're going to start, I think, with Emily. Emily, where are you from, first of all? I am from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Do you live here or did you tell me, did you fly in? I flew here. I do not live here. I've never been in LA before. Um, okay, that's commitment. We came here for this. <laughs> That is utter commitment. We thought the West Coast based fans were committed. That exactly, Caroline, that is utter commitment. Okay, Emily, each of you have got a question for me. Let's start with you. Yeah, so we used to see a traditional big four, and now we're seeing a shifting top four. What do you think is contributing to that change, and do you think it's more fun? Oh, it's definitely more fun. I mean, I think every time we get change in the Premier League at the top, it's always more fun. In terms of what's contributing to it, I think it's obviously a mixture of things. It's that some of the big clubs are making mistakes recruitment-wise or with managers. Um, some are not forward-thinking enough. I think you have to only look at Manchester United. Sorry, Manchester United fans, but Manchester... Sorry, Anders. Uh, but Manchester United themselves, you know, are not where they need to be. Um, so whilst the big clubs are not sometimes where they need to be, others are taking advantage of it. And you've got clubs like Leicester who are so well-run. If you get the right structure in place, I think, above the manager, then you can definitely challenge that establishment. And now, of course, with Newcastle and the takeover, it looks like we're getting some sort of big seven going on. So I love that because it means that everything each week, different things can happen, unpredictability at its best. Who knows who's going to win the league this year? It's super, super tight. I know that you want Liverpool. Emily, thank you very much for that one. We're going to go in a minute to Anders, but first, Caroline. Where are you from? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I live here now, though. Just moved here. Still very committed. It's okay. Um, okay, and your question, Caroline. Uh, who has been your favorite guest here at FanFest this week? Oh my goodness me, we've had some amazing guests. Yesterday I got to talk to Maggie Stephens, who's won three gold medals. She's captain of the US women's water polo team. That was really special. I know that we've got some special guests coming up and I think I know who my special guests will be. I haven't yet spoken to him, but I know it's gonna be Ted Lasso's assistant, Coach Beard. You know Brendan Hunt is gonna come on the show a little bit later on, he's super popular. We had a couple of Ted Lasso lookalikes yesterday, which was genius. So I'm gonna say, before I've even spoken to him, it's gonna be Coach Beard, Brendan Hunt. Thank you, Caroline, for your question. And as next up, big Manchester United fan, just come around here a little bit, and so everyone can see your amazing pod show, which I'm not sure I've ever seen before. Is this a one-off, Anders? Sorry, what was that? Is it a one-off? Has anyone else got one of these? Yeah. Where did you get it? In Mexico. I do love that, Anders. I do love that. Okay, what's your question for me? So we've all been having a great time so far, but I want to know what's been your favorite fan fest so far. Oh, it's a difficult one because a lot of people out there are going to take great offense if I don't say they're fan fest, aren't they? Two in New York, one in DC, one in Boston, one in Austin, one in Miami Beach. All of them brilliant in different ways. I think the outdoor fan fests in Miami Beach and Boston, and also, I, they're all so good, but you know, I'm here in LA. I've got to say it's LA. about something because did you know that you were the 77th Manchester United fan to come through the doors this morning? No, I didn't know that. I'm very unsurprised that you didn't know that. Okay, well you were. And you know seven is an important number at Manchester United, right? Do you know why? That's Woo! right. Ronaldo, Giggs, yeah, everyone. Okay, and so I am going to tell you that in honor of the famous number seven shirt, because you were number 77 through the doors, I'm getting to the point, you have won a massive prize. You have won a VIP trip to Old Trafford. Thank you to the Premier League and Manchester United to watch the game against Tottenham this coming March. Your prize includes flights, accommodation, tickets to the game. What are your thoughts, Em? I'm excited, I'll tell you that much. Have you been to Old Trafford? Never been before. So this is going to be your first time to the Premier League of Manchester United flying you over for your first ever trip to Old Trafford. Oh my goodness, how long have you been a United fan? Uh, seven, eight years now, so this is going to be something. Oh my goodness. Well, Anders, congratulations on that. We will get all of that sorted out for you. Wonderful moment for Anders. Lovely stuff here. Caroline and, and Emily, thank you so much indeed for taking part in my live lowdown here in Los Angeles. Now, the lowdown, of course, is one of many things available for you on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. We've got Inside the Mind, Premier League Update, the Two Robbies podcast as well, Premier League Tactic Session, the lowdown, those, everything that you can get on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. That was the live edition of The Lowdown presented by Lexus.
right there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.